Welcome back everyone to the Bears Probably Plays YouTube channel. Today is Monday, September 16th. We've got some Monday Night Football to talk about. The Atlanta Falcons going up against the Eagles. One total game pick, two total player props. I think both those player props will probably cash in the first half. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. Hope everybody has a great Monday, and let's break down some ball. All right, guys, let's get into this breakdown for Saturday afternoon. Not a bad day, not a good day. Probably going to go about 500. So far, 2-2 two two on the game picks. Chargers minus 5, no sweat there against the Panthers. Chiefs minus 6. Uh, Bengals played well. Chiefs game winner, 53 yards by Bucker. Rams and Cardinals, that one flew over the total. Uh, Rams, horrible in that game. Cardinals look really good. Cardinals might be frisky this season. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr.'s breakout game as well. Colts minus 2.5. Took the cheese, and we got trapped. Bears plus 6.5, currently 13-10. to 10. Texans kind of driving right now with like 40 seconds left, so maybe they get a field goal for the half. So hopefully we can win the Bears there, plus 6.5. J.K. Dobbins did score a touchdown, had 100-plus yards as well. Uh, Malik Willis did not throw an interception. I think he only threw like 12 or 13 times. He played decent, I guess, for Malik Willis. And then uh, Jalen Daniels, he rushed a lot against the Giants, just could not find the end zone. So uh, one and two day on the player props there. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Two and two, one and two. We need the Bears to come through for us to have a 500-day. Hopefully that does happen. But you got a game to talk about here on Monday Night Football. The Atlanta Falcons going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Both these teams look different in week number one. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles played the Packers. They look pretty good if you take away the, all the penalties and all the turnovers that they had. I had a lot of question marks about Jalen Hurts, but I think most of that was just the rust for week number one. I'm not going to dock him too much for his horrible plays. He did have some really good plays mixed in there as well. The Eagles as a whole, they didn't look great. They probably didn't deserve to win that game, but mistakes towards the end of the game for the Packers led to the Eagles capitalizing on a few big plays. Saquon Barkley also was amazing in that game. The secondary for the Eagles, it's going to be a major problem for them once again. That makes back-to-back -back seasons that this might be one of the worst secondaries in football. And I do think the Falcons can take advantage of that. The Falcons, they didn't look very good themselves going up against the Steelers, but that defense, a lot of teams going up against that defense are not going to look good. The Steelers, that might be the best defense in the NFL, probably the best defense in the NFL. It was also the first game back for Kirk Cousins after that injury. Uh, he was with a new team as well. And again, week number one, so everybody looks a little bit rusty for the Falcons, especially for Kirk Cousins. But again, I'm not going to dock him too much for that first game. It did look like Kirk Cousins was a little bit injured still, and he wasn't to move around the pocket very well. But in this game, he might not have to move a lot to slice and dice this secondary of the Eagles. I'm going to take the Falcons here, plus 5.5 as a play going up against the Eagles. This really comes down to that secondary for the Eagles. I think they're very bad this season, and I'm really hoping that they are because the Cowboys, we got smacked on a Sunday. So we need every advantage we can get going up against this team. The Falcons, they didn't bring in Kirk Cousins uh, to establish the run game. They brought him in for a reason. They want to move the ball down the field. They want to take deep shots. And I think they can do that against this secondary. Cousins, he did have weapons with the Vikings. Uh, nobody, though, is better than JJ on this team, obviously. But he does have really good weapons here. Robinson, Drake London, and Kyle Pitts in this offense. I think that's going to be enough to dominate the Eagles secondary. Atlanta's defense, they held tough against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They didn't give up any touchdowns, but they did allow Justin Fields to move the ball up and down the field. They were in bend-don't-break mode. The Eagles will probably have a little bit more success going up against this defense because it's Jalen Hurts compared to Justin Fields. But I do think the Falcons offense can keep up with them. Give me the Dirty Birds here, plus 5.5 as the play. Let's go over to the player props. For the first player prop of the day, we're taking Devontae Smith of the Eagles to go over 74.5 receiving yards against the Falcons. This guy is really a freak for the Eagles. He's got insane wingspan that helps him bring down balls that most people can't bring down. He's going to be the number one target in this game uh, as well because yesterday A.J. Brown was uh, ruled out for this game. So that's going to make Smith the number one target here. He's going to draw the best coverage for Atlanta. But at the same time, he's got the number one option for Jalen Hurts in this offense. In his game against the Packers, he had a lot of targets. He found himself open a lot, had seven catches, 80-plus yards in that first game. And like I said before, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were able to move the ball up and down the field against the Falcons. They just couldn't get any points on the board through the touchdowns. I think the Eagles will be able to move the ball up and down the field, and hopefully the Falcons' defense bends don't break in this game as well. But I do think that's going to be really good for the yardage in this game for the Eagles. I'm going to take Devontae Smith here. Over 74.5 receiving yards with a banged up wide receiver core as the play. For the last play today, we're going to be looking at uh, Drake London of the Atlanta Falcons to go over 55.5 receiving yards going up against the Eagles. I like a lot of these players for the Falcons tomorrow. I think the secondary for the Eagles is a shit show. And we're going to see what they're made of going up against Kirk Cousins, who again, did not look good in week number one. But again, not going to talk for that. The Eagles, they gave up over 400 plus yards of the Packers in week number one. I don't know if they're going to give up 400 plus yards in this game, but Cousins, he can't look any worse than he did in the first game. Drake London, he was hardly targeted in that game, but again, it was the Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the best teams in the NFL, and one of the best pass rushers in the NFL in TJ Watt. That's a very tough ask for Kirk Cousins to go up against the best pass rusher and the best defense in his first game back after an injury. So he was definitely uncomfortable in that pocket. In this game, though, he should have wide open receivers in the secondary. I like Drake London here to get lost a couple times. 
I'm hoping that the Falcons also put Robinson in the slot for a couple of these drives because nobody in the NFL can guard Robinson, especially a linebacker in the NFL. If they do that with Robinson, that might open up Drake Leonard just a little bit for some quick shots, some quick screens, or some deep shots. And I do believe Kirk Cousins will be able to deliver the ball to him in this game. Give me Drake London here, over 55.5 receiving yards. It doesn't feel like it's that high in a game that should have a lot of passing yards out of Kirk Cousins. So give me the over 55.5 as the play. Let's go over to the recap graphic. We're going to take the Falcons plus five and a half going up against the Eagle Devontae Smith, over 74.5 receiving yards against the Falcons. And then Drake London, over 55.5 receiving yards going up against the Eagles. Guys, it's going to do it for the NFL plays and props for Monday, September 16th slate of games. If you guys enjoy the content, Please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.